Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on two products which I got a couple of days ago but I have used it every day since I got them and that is the Bourjois City Radiance Skin Protecting Foundation and the Radiance Reveal Concealer. So it's basically there this in the same collection or whatever you want to call it. So this is quite a new uh, foundation by Bourjois. I don't know how long it's been out, a couple of weeks maybe. But I only recently went to the drugstore and saw it then. Actually I saw it before but I just kind of ignored it. And then I had one of those drugstore moments where I was in there picking up one thing and I walked out with like a hundred other things like these. So first off, Bourjois is a French brand, but they are sold in the UK. When I was in Canada and I saw Bourjois in the drugstores, I was shocked at how overpriced they are. Uh, in the UK, they don't cost as much as they do. They probably cost double the price in Canada, which I find really unfair and really strange, considering that Bourjois is a French brand and Canada is, um, well, has a lot of French speakers and French parts to it. But that's neither here nor there. So I paid $9.99 for the foundation and the concealer was $7.99. I've never understood when it comes to prices of concealers and foundations why they can be so similar, so close in price. Yet, look at the size difference. I mean, this is a standard 30ml size, I believe. Does it say 30ml? Yeah, it says 30ml. And then this teeny tiny little thing is so small it doesn't even have a size written on it. Useful. Um, anyway, so Bourjois, this, uh, the shade that I bought mine in is 05 Golden Beige and then the concealer is in 02 Beige. Now, one of the issues that I have with this foundation rage and Bourjois foundation rages in general is their, is their shade selection is terrible. There's like five or six shades and the majority or pretty much all of them are geared towards fairer skin tones. Hello Bourjois! We are not all fair skin. Actually, I would probably say that there are more medium skin tones than there are any other colour range in the entire world. Correct me guys if I'm wrong, but in this day and age, we are having children with somebody from this race, somebody from that race, somebody from this race, that race, that race. I think like in 100 to 200 years from now, I think that the whole race of this world will probably be all kind of medium skin toned with a little bit lighter here, a little bit darker there. That's just how it is. And Bourjois really needs to evolve with the times. All other drugstore um, brands that I come across, they cater to all skin tones. It's only Bourjois that has like a really rubbish range. And it is with all their foundations I've found. Now, this one that I got, which is 05 Golden Beige, in the store that I was in, which was Superdrug in Westfield, White City, this was the darkest shade they had. But when I came home and I looked online, I think there was maybe one other shade up. But I swatched it in store. Unfortunately, drugstore lighting is pretty crap and it kind of looked like it might work for me and I've put it on my face, I'm wearing it today. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have enough yellow to it. With other bourgeois foundations, I found that the undertones can be quite yellow, so they suit me a lot better. Whereas this one is very neutral and very beige, so it gives me that slight beigeish overcast. You can see the difference between my face and my neck. And I have been wearing it quite a lot for the past few days, purely for the purposes of a review. I, even though I get people, or somebody will always say to me, your foundation doesn't match. I know it doesn't, but I'm testing it out. That's why you don't seem to understand mind your business. Um, yeah, so this golden beige shade, unfortunately, is not 100% perfect for me. I have actually filmed a makeup tutorial on this entire look, so you'll be able to see what it looks, what my face looks like without all the bronzer and powder and highlighter and lipstick and all the rest of it. You'll be able to see it or like on its own. This foundation is a skin protecting foundation with a brightening effect, fresh and even complexion, anti-pollution screen, SPF 30, radiance boosting pigments. Now from my own research that I've done online, this is one of those foundations which is supposed to be to protect you from the pollution, from the environment, from all the crap that's in the air and as somebody like me who lives in London, who lives in a very polluted city, I suppose it is very useful for somebody who's like me and quite a lot of people that generally tend to live in more city type areas. Now I've always lived in London and I can always tell the difference when I leave London how much more clearly and easily I can breathe. So this is meant to kind of protect you from that. Fresh and even collection. SPF 30, obviously, again, it's going hand in hand with the City Radiance, protecting your skin, so it's got a high sun protection factor, which is great. 
Now, the foundation in general, like I said, the shade range is rubbish. That's already one point down. Um, I personally feel that this foundation will not do too well for people with oily skin tones and I'm going to tell you why. This one is one of those dewy kind of foundations. So if you have got oily skin obviously it's just going to make your oiliness come out a lot sooner than it would with any other normal foundation. Now I have used my primer underneath it. I use my usual my Nivea uh, post shave balm I'm looking on the floor because it's actually on the floor I always forget what it's called the Nivea post shave balm and I would say that after about six hours and my face started to get shiny now I have noticed that ever since I've started using this face balm that my foundation and everything else does tend to last a lot longer but that's also because the foundation is very very good for example the Charlotte Tilbury one that I've been using since the beginning of the year and it has lasted a really long time on my face so I was actually surprised and realized that it is the foundation itself that is making my skin appear a lot more oily uh, a lot sooner than it normally would with other foundations because of the Nivea balm thingy my foundations tend to last me upwards of nine to ten hours before I get little pockets of shine appearing on my face this one like I said started to appear while I was still at work which is not what I wanted and then I noticed it started to slide around in places as well so it doesn't stick to my face as much as I would want it to now it has got I would say medium coverage medium buildable but more on the medium side as well People with drier skins may tend to like it a lot more because it has got that extra something, that little bit of extra moisture in it as well. Fresh and even complexion. I think it does blend into the skin quite evenly. I don't have any issues with um, application. The foundation in terms of its consistency itself is... Um, it's kind of moussey, gel-like. It's not liquidy. It's not drip, drip, drip. One of those ones. It's not one of those ones where you apply it to your face and it'll start to drip down before you start to blend it in. It is quite thick. I don't know if you can see. See? I've just squeezed it a little. There we go. So it's like a little blob has just landed there. I really hate the smell. The only way that I can describe the smell is like this weird cucumbery scent. Now, I don't know how many of you guys out there use um, hair removal creams. Now, there is a hair removal cream which is quite popular. It's, an, it's a Nair. It's called Nair. Nair? Nair? N-A-I-R. Nair. And they've got this really strange cucumbery weird smell this smells exactly like it the first thing i thought of when i put this on my face i was like oh, it smells like hair removal cream don't like the smell at all so it blends quite easily and very evenly because it is not a runny foundation it's a fairly thick is ish sort of foundation oh it smells if you can see it's pretty much covered my beauty spot now I know on my hand it appears to be a little bit darker but then my hand is completely different to my uh, color to my face my hands and my feet at the moment uh, because it is winter time have gone super super pale like really pale okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read a little bit about what they say online brightening foundation formula Yes, I would say that it brightens my skin, I guess. I mean, because it gives that whole dewy look, then yes, but it's brightening. Fresh water flower fragrance. Mm, smells like shit to me. Gives the complexion a glowy look. Yes, the whole dewy thing. Leaves skin feeling hydrated and plump. Yes, I guess it does, because it is quite moisturising, but it's not sticky, which is obviously a very good thing. Enriched with coated pigments, which create an affinity with the skin. What, you want to make friends with my skin? I don't get it. Provides perfect hold throughout the day. Disagree. It started to come off uh, quite a bit towards hour six or seven. Like I said, light, breathable texture. Yes, I guess it is. Protects from aggressive urban pollution with an anti-pollution screen. Again, it's one of those claims that you can't really say yes or no to unless you've been using it for a significant amount of time. Whether or not it protects against the pollution, I'm never really to know because I will always live in a very polluted place. I suppose I'll only be able to tell when I'm 50 and see the state of my skin then. Defends against UV with SPF 30 sun protection factor, blah, blah, blah. Six, six bright shades. Six bright shades, as in six fair-skinned shades, really. Um, and it's creamy and light and da-da-da. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, overall, I think I'd give it about a 5 out of 10. The shade range is disappointing. The fact that it doesn't last long on the skin is obviously a letdown. Um, the smell to me is just 
I can still smell it on my hands and actually get it on my nerves. Um, the fact that only people with uh, normal to combo or normal or dry skin can really benefit from it the most. Even somebody like me, I've got normal combination skin, I get oily on my T-zone. It's not something that I'm going to repurchase again. Firstly, because obviously I can't get the right shade. And secondly, what's the point if I'm going to start looking shiny before I really want to? I'm still out and about and at work and stuff like that. So it's only really a s small amount of people that are actually going to be able to enjoy this foundation. So yeah, I suppose that's all I have to say. I mean, it doesn't accentuate my pores or anything like that. It fills them in quite nicely. I mean, it's not sticky. So those are the reasons why it's been given a five. But overall, mm -hmm. you guys can make your own choice based on my review. And then next is the Radiance Reveal Concealer. Again, it comes in three shades. Three. Very, very, very white, which is not even fair. It's like nearly white this one and then one which is really really orange and there's like no middleman it's it's just really they're completely different all three of them so i got number two which is called a beige and i'll show you how it looks on my hand it is quite pale as you can see and it's meant to color correct and illuminate with 24 hour hydration. You guys know how I feel about these whole 24 hour claims. It annoys me. No one's going to wear their makeup for 24 hours. And if they do, they probably have horrible skin because it never gets the chance to breathe. Color correct. Yes, I suppose it does. And illuminates because this is such a pale shade. If you watch when you see my makeup tutorial on this video, you'll see I didn't use my normal Max Prep and Prime highlighting pen because this one does the job of both highlighting as well as concealing my under eye area. I actually think that this concealer is a lot better than the foundation counterpart, which is a shame. Um, because obviously foundation is what covers the majority of your face whereas this just covers a small area I've used it on my under eyes on my nose forehead upper lip and on my chin um, It doesn't crease under the eyes. It stays put all day. It definitely illuminates the area and because it's quite a liquidy um, in consistency I'm not sure how much you can tell it is quite liquidy. It shifts around quite a bit It's not like my Mac pro Longwear or my urban decay um, a naked skin concealer where those two are quite thick this one is quite thin in consistency but then it also still manages to cover the skin very nicely I use my beauty blender to blend it out when you use a beauty blender especially a damp one a lot of the product can go inside the beauty blender and then shear out the area quite a bit thankfully this doesn't do that it actually blends out really nicely it doesn't get sheer I can't, I don't have to reapply or put layers and layers of this. I only have to apply one layer. So I think that this concealer is actually a lot better than the foundation, which is a shame. I would personally give this a 8 out of 10. Three colours, three colours. That's rubbish. That's really no good. If there were more colours, I probably would give this a, um, um, maybe a 9 out of 10 even. So yeah, so I think that this is quite good. I am quite happy with it. What else do they say about it? Mont Blanc Glacier Water. Oh, come on. It could come out of the tap and you wouldn't know. You're just buying it and they're just saying that. Hyaluronic Acid 24-Hour Hydration and Smoothing Effect. Now, like I said, I can't really say yes or no to the whole 24-hour hydration. However, the entire time that it is on my eyes, my eyes don't get crepey. They don't get dry. Um, it doesn't sit within the lines underneath my eyes and accentuate them. So in that respect, I suppose maybe they are right. So yeah, so that's it really. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please let me know if you've got any comments or questions. Feel free to let me know below. Maybe we should all start a petition and start petitioning Bourgeois to come out with more shade ranges. It's only fair because their foundations are actually pretty good. Yeah, so that's it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.